better run, man. Life's a pain, but you got me. Yeah, life's a pain, but I got you. Hey, what's up, Parasites? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we're going to talk about a spoiler from Across the Spider-Verse. So if you have not seen the movie yet, I'm encouraging you right now, go away. Because we're going to talk about a spoiler in here. Um, not a major one, I'll be honest. It's I don't think it ruins the movie at all or anything like that. But it was a cool moment and it does tie into the overall theme of this channel and of this show. So I got to talk about it. So if you don't want any spoilers, you want to go in clean, go away right now. Um, because uh, we're going to talk about two things in this episode. One, we find out what Earth the Venom movies are on. And two, we're going to talk about how we found that out in Across the Spider-Verse. So again, if you don't want to know, peace out right now. And then come back after you see the movie. So with that being said, hopefully everyone here now has seen the movie. And uh, I give you fair warning. Because what we're going to talk about is the scene in the movie where the spot is trying to learn how his powers work. And he gets sucked into a, a void, a hole, after he, uh, you know, battles Miles for the first time. And he's trying to figure out how to manipulate these. He's in a, like a pocket dimension where he's connected to these holes that ultimately lead him to other universes. And every time he goes into one, he's disrupting things, you know. So he goes into like like a 1960s, you know, cartoon, like Hanna-Barbera looking Spider-Man world. And he gets hit with a purse there. Then he goes to a Lego universe and he's in the Lego world for a minute and uh, looking outside and the Daily Bugle's behind him and people are screaming. And you had J.K. Simmons voicing uh, on mul multiple Earths, uh, J. Jonah Jameson on multiple Earths, which is really cool, including the Lego one. Um, so that was a really cool cameo. And then we got to the next stop that the spot makes where he enters a world with real people. Uh, and the person he sees is Mrs. Chen from the Venom films, which is awesome. I thought that was really cool because it's a great way to tie it to that world, show that that world exists, give that world a number, but without, you know, showing off, you know, Tom Hardy or Venom or anything like that, because you don't always need that. It's not just about doing that, but it's about, you know, getting that connection and, and putting that connective tissue together to these movies that, you know, Sony's trying to put together and stuff. So I thought that was really cool that we got Mrs. Chen and the spot comes out and he's kind of like, hello. He's like, uh, I don't know if you, he's like, you're not even acting surprised that I'm here. I'm ripping a hole through space and time right now. And I'm passing through in dimensions and it's just a Tuesday for you, isn't it? <laughs> and she's just staring at him like, you know, like, you know, like Mrs. Chen does, because in the first movie of Venom, she saw Eddie grow into a monster, eat a guy that was threatening to kill her, swallow him whole, and then just walk out the store as Eddie saying like, yeah, I'm sick. I got a parasite or whatever. And she didn't have like a major reaction. And a lot of people online react. They said that they were like, dude, she didn't even react. Like, wouldn't she freak out? Wouldn't she do this? And even I, I think in my review was like, I wonder why she didn't freak out. Um, but I think it's kind of funny. It's like slapsticky that she didn't. And it feels like, you know, Lord and Miller and everyone who made this movie and the three directors that made this movie were like, no, let's do that. Let's have her see the spot and not even be surprised or freaked out by it. And I love that. It keeps it's consistent with the character. Um, and it just shows how like, you know, kind of slapsticky the Venom universe is to where a guy could open a portal, come right into your shop, take a, a stack of a pack of gum that was called Venom Mint, by the way, uh, the Venom Mint, uh, Mint gum, uh, which is pretty cool. And he took a pack of gum and she just was like, okay. And then he left and that's it. it. I was like, what a cool thing. But while that happens, you go into Mrs. Chen's, you know, sh uh, store there. And it says, you know, Earth, San Francisco, you know, Chinatown, San Francisco, Earth 688. And that is where we find out the number to the Venom universe, according to Across the Spider-Verse, which I'm going to guess is going to be the canon of it, obviously. So uh, Earth 688. I don't know why those numbers, um, but uh, that's neat. I think it's because it's, uh, was it June of 88? Was that when we first got Venom? I, I can't even remember. Maybe that's something. Maybe it's a nod to something like that. So let me let me know down below if you guys figure it out. Uh, let me know down below in the comments what 688 could mean. Um, Cause yeah, I would love, I would, I'm trying to speculate now and I can't remember specific dates. So I'm gonna need your help. So let me know down below what you think Earth 688 stands for. Uh, and we'll talk more down there. And I'll try to do some research too. And we'll talk more down there, it'll be fun. So uh, so yeah, so I, I love this scene. I thought it was great. Seeing Mrs. Chen was great. Got a great reaction from our audience. Even my buddy, uh, Nate, who saw it with me, he laughed really hard. He was like, he was like, all right, cool. Like Mrs. Chen is here. And I'm like, yeah, she's great. Cause ever since we did the first you know, the show of this and she came out in the first movie, 
she kind of became a, a favorite like a, a of a lot of us who watched and we were hoping she'd be back in the second one and uh and and she was and i, I loved it and now that she's in this it's like cool there's even more more mrs chen that's what i say put her in the comic books we need mrs chen uh you know working at a shop in san francisco in the comic books so marvel get on that you marvel editors out there make sure you put mrs chen in the comic books because she's fantastic um but yeah so this is cool because it gives us a connection to the venom universe and also labels the venom not that we really needed that but it's cool to get it. We got Earth 688 now. So now we know where what Earth the Venom universe is set on. And I guess that means Morbius too, because they mentioned Venom in Morbius. And I guess that will probably mean Craven the Hunter as well. So yeah, look at that. Earth 688, you know, growing bigger every year. And I will have more videos coming up because there's some other little sneak peeks at Venom stuff in Across the Spider-Verse. And we will get to those in future videos for sure. So thank you so much. I appreciate you guys watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you in the future. Peace.